There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Guys, what's up divas what's up divos what's up everybody welcome back to my channel hope you all having like a really great day when you're watching this but i wanted to introduce you to this company called argoat i hope that's the correct way of pronouncing it because y'all know i could chop up a name with the no problem but girl let me tell y'all there are quite a few things that I could use off that website. For one, the items did come very well packaged. You ever get something? Well, I know for me, when I got something in the mail, like from a different company, just ordering hair care products, they were not sealed or packaged properly, which in return made them spill. But girl, let me tell y'all, they got a lot of stuff on there that I could definitely use. Because I am going to be doing a hair tutorial, a video, a couple of videos today. And for one particular one, I do need some type of like camouflage for my edges. Now, if you guys remember, I've used this product plenty of times in the past. You probably haven't seen me use it lately because I don't really wear like half wigs or things of that nature. Sometimes I do wear a ponytail and sometimes it'd be work to put in a ponytail, not even work to put in a ponytail, but you know, to camouflage my edges and make them look a little fuller. I do all kinds of things like, you know, using wefting hair or hair. I'm gonna show you a product that I love to use and I still have it on hand and I swear by it. It's an amazing product. But if y'all remember, I used to use a product Products, which is hair filler fibers and this was for my thin edges to make it look like they were hairs there now this color might be a little bit off because it is in the color black and I don't do black I do dark brown um, so we're gonna see how that works out but I do use dark brown and it just looks like this right here just a simple bottle like this Let's see if you guys can see it for one, when you take the top off, there are like little tiny holes, which is basically like a sifter if you want to just more or less sprinkle it on the bald patches or bald spots that you have. But you can also get one of these spray applicators, which I swear by, girl, when I tell you I swear by these, I swear by these, okay? These make putting on your application a whole lot easier. So all you would do is remove this portion of the actual top, just screw it off. It comes off really easy. And you take this one and just screw it on. And it also comes with a little nose, little nozzle piece that you just put on right there. Make sure you take off this piece or you're not getting any type of fibers. So it also does come with one of the combs, the optimizer. Now girl, I ain't never used one of these. I did have them in my own little hair filler fiber collection, but I think this is more or less for like your own hair on top. I only use this product on the edges. It also has a fingerprint imprint right here where you would know to place your thumb or finger to press into it. So we're gonna try this. Okay, so for my edges on the side, as you guys can see, they are a little thin. And right now they're kind of like pasted down. So I do want to kind of like brush them up so that way they don't look so thin. And that way the hair filler fibers could really blend in a lot easier. And I'm just gonna take this. Now for me, I like to spray a little bit away. Ooh, child. And you just go slow in slow motion. I try not to um, pump too hard because if I do, then you're gonna get a lot of product to come out. And this is a really good nozzle I'm noticing. So you just gotta build it up. And that's the one thing that I always tell you guys, just a little bit goes a long way. I wouldn't just go heavy handed freely on it, but you know, just do it lightly. This is really good for those who have thin edges, have some type of alopecia, or you know, have a bald spot, or just thinning hair in general. These fibers will stick to your hair. There is a product where you can use on, on, to hold it on. I just use hairspray. And you see how lightly I'm just pumping. Now see, you can go more than that if you want. But like I said, you wanna be mindful. You don't wanna spray too much at once, but you also wanna spray a, maybe a little tad bit of hairspray so that it can hold onto the fibers. I try to spray kind of back further so that way it'll work and it's not too much drenching the fibers or drench, drenching the scalp. What I also like to use is a makeup brush. Look, you, you gotta use what's best for you, what works best for you, just to blend some of it out because I don't want it too dark in areas. And you see how it made it look a little bit fuller and you don't see my skin as much. Now to be honest, a, a brighter, not excuse me, a lighter color would be in my best interest. Because this is black, it's a little bit more noticeable. So that's why I'm gonna just keep brushing it in. But normally I would suggest getting the color of your natural hair. Do not get anything that's too dark. And this is not gonna stain your skin or stain your clothes. It's just more or less like, it looks like to me like dark, like little bits of fibers. 
And then what you want to do is just brush off the excess off of your skin. Try not to do this in front of a fan or what have you because, yeah, it's just going to blow it all over the place. And like I said, I just build it up. And I just try to go light in the beginning because, you know... Now, I could use a little bit more right here. I kind of like aim the nozzle a certain way. Now, I'm going to take a wipe because there is some on my skin. I just take a wipe. It easily comes off. Okay, so now that it looks fuller on that side, this is how it looks now. Nice and full. I swear by this stuff. I've used it for years. There are many different brands. This one you can get from Argo. They have different colors as well. Like I said, try to get something that matches your own natural hair color as close as possible. Me, it would be like a dark or medium brown. Make sure you get the nozzle. This will definitely make your life spraying on a lot easier versus sprinkling it onto your head. I love these nozzles. These work definitely for sure we do have some edge control girl that we're gonna be trying out so this is like a little edge control set you can get a travel size one which could bring with you to work in your car don't leave it in your car in arizona because it's super hot but this comes with a travel size edge control it also comes with the full size and it also does come with a edge control brush this container is actually 6.53 ounces and it's a clear product and there is a top on it so that's a good thing so it doesn't spell got me a new soft bristle edge control brush okay thank you very much now i don't want to put too much because i don't want it to interfere with um my product but y'all know i be needing sideburn hairs okay i always need sideburn hairs has natural aloe in it it is long lasting and high shining so one thing i do like about certain products edge control like this that is thick it will help me lay my edges down perfectly and then what i would do me myself because i feel like i need a strong gel i would put a gel on top of it as a barrier against my regular gel so that way the regular gel it's not directly on my hair, hard and hardening it and breaking it off. No animal testing. This is an unparalleled edge control gel, suitable for all hair types, no residue, long lasting, high shining, extra strong hold performance. It isn't as greasy as some. There are some edge controls like this that are super greasy. And I mean, that's okay too, but if you're not going for the real greasy, this is really holding though. This is, this is holding, okay. It has like a tacky touch feel to it too. So one thing I don't like is my hair pasted down too much. So let's just lift this up right here. Okay, this one is pretty good. This edge control is pretty decent. The only way I say that is because it doesn't take several globs of the edge control. It kind of like sticks down automatically. It's not as greasy as a lot of different ones are. I like that because I have tried and went through plenty of different edge control in my time. Some be way too greasy when it gives you shine, but it just be way too greasy. I'm not really sure how it holds down, but it never does for me. I don't like them when they're too greasy. So this has a tacky feel to it and it's not greasy like most, like some are when it's clear like this. Okay, and it does dry pretty quick. All right, so it's dry, okay. Okay, girl, okay. I love edge control as a barrier for my edges because it does help with alcohol products like gel or hairspray. So I do like to use edge control as a barrier. Not so much alone, but definitely as a barrier because I need the extra hold slickness, which edge controls does do. Some gels do, but ge gels just go on very wet. So it takes some drying time. So I do like this product, especially because I'm one that likes like thick edge control gel. Okay, y'all, so the gel, the edge control is holding down really nice. I did pull out some more of my hair, and this this edge control does hold. Like, it instantly dries, instantly holds. So I'm feeling that, girl. I'm feeling so that. I do have another product here, which is the glue and the actual hair scalp essential oil for hair growth so for one what i'm going to show you guys is the glue i was going to use the glue on my own lace unit but then i decided not to because something is going to prom you guys in april 
So she's going to junior prom. They get to go junior and senior prom. She got this really pretty dress. I can't wait for y'all to see her. But she want to take out like her little uh, faux locks. And she want me to put on a lace front wig on her. Okay. So this is different for me watching my 16 year old go to prom. I'm really excited for her. I was going to apply the wig with hairspray. But she kept saying she was going to be shaking her rump shaker. And so she wanted to make sure that the wig was holding down. So I figured we're going to try this out on the back of my hand and see how strong it is. So that way when prom does come and I'm applying a lace front wig to her i know that she in good hands the wig is not going anywhere so what i went ahead and did is i'm going to go ahead and clean the back of my hand real quick so we're going to be testing it out on some of these pieces right here y'all know how i be saving my little edges when i do my wigs and i customize them i tell y'all all the time save them because you never know you might need them for something girl okay we're going to just use this piece right here and so this is their lace glue it is extreme firm hold latex free perspiration resistance and waterproof so this is what i'm looking for when it comes to a lace glue especially if you're going to be out partying and dancing all right so i'm going to put on the first layer and of course you want it to dry and i'm going to just go ahead and smear it out Okay, so it's drying super quick. And it is becoming tacky. I like the fact that the white, you know, went clear real quick. Now that it's tacky. Oh, this is really good. Okay, second layer. I'm gonna just clean off my stick in between applications. So this is layer two, now layer three. Okay, so now it's tacky. Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so it doesn't dry clear. That's one thing. It dries clear. You need to put at least three to four barriers of glue with any glue that is if you really want your wig to hold. Now, I put only three. Look. Got a good hold. This got a good hold. This is a really good hold. The way it dries is clear. There's no residue. This was a nice lace front application. Okay, the easiest one I ever did. So this would be perfect for like a dance off. I said a dance off. You know what I'm saying? So this gives a good hold. Look. How the hell am I gonna get it off? It's water resistant. Let's see here. I'm gonna just comb through it. Show you guys that the hair is wet now. Okay, so definitely a good hold, all right, for three layers of glue and some water poured onto it. And it does say you can use up to 10 layers, four to 10 layers. The more layers you put on, the stronger your unit is going to hold, which means that your wig is not coming off. So if you put in 10 layers on here, girl, then I guess you just don't want your wig to ever come off. You wearing that for the rest of the year. Okay, so now let's get into this hair growth oil serum. It also comes with a spoolie. This is a nice size bottle. The only issue with me is I never stay consistent, but you got a dropper, you got a spoolie. I'm gonna just try the um, spoolie with this because I'm gonna see if this will remove the unit because it is oil. So I'm I'll just take this it smells ooh, this smell it smells like very herb like the one thing that i will tell you when you're removing a lace front there are removers the one thing that i would use i used to use to remove my lace front wigs is i would just use a can of oil sheen and spray it now this has a very strong smell Oh my gosh, this smells so strong. It has aloe vera extract in it, fruit oil, tea tree, leaf oil, rosemary, leaf oil, pecan shell powder, ginseng seed oil. It has a lot of oils in it and it smells kind of strong. So they do recommend using this two to three times a week after washing your hair. I want all right, y'all, so I had to go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol. Mine was only 50% proof, but if you have something stronger, they always say like 90% proof rubbing alcohol is great. But if you combine like baby oil first just to lift it and then on your skin use the rubbing alcohol, it will get rid of the stickiness. The great glue, it will hold. So if you're into glue, you want those couple day holds or that week hold, then check out the lace glue from Argo. As for the hair oil, you guys, it's a very strong scent. It has all types of different herbs in this for restoration, protecting your hair, protecting your scalp, hair growth, and so forth. The only issue, like I said, 
I have is with consistency, you know? So that's the one thing that I do need to do and just be better at is consistency. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the lace wig ham, you know what I'm saying? The wig application to the hand. But I love you all. Stay TV and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Thank you.